Meet Method 2, the biggest robot you've ever seen. Science fiction and games these days, especially those who have played the Call of Duty series, will be able to relate to the extraordinary military capabilities and, more importantly, the structure this robot has. So stay tuned till the end and do keep in mind that this robot will be the one that could extraordinarily change our perspectives on the capabilities robots could have as we move ahead in time. Welcome back, everyone. Did you know that scientists worldwide are, right now, truly fascinated by the capabilities robots could have in the coming future? Well, we belong to a species that can not only give birth to another individual, but can also make enactments of life through our extremely clever minds and brains. And you'll agree with us on this point by the time the video comes to an end. So without forcing you to do so, we're certain that by the time we end, your hands will automatically move on to the smash that like button and get addicted to us as you subscribe to this channel. Think we're too ambitious? Let's wait till we come to an end. A 13 feet tall robot that weighs a total of 1.6 tons and can be manually controlled by a human being. Uh, wait, here's the best part. Sitting inside the robot is certainly one of the things you may have seen in the science fiction and games like Call of Duty and Halo. Check this out. Oh, well, wait, that's not really what we meant. We're not going to deal with the aliens here and we'll not have a lot of guns and missiles coming out of it. It'll be purely for commercial uses as of now. We've come a long way with robotic technology, with immersive, interactive capabilities with robots like Harmony that could accompany you even on the bed. The robots have made some significant progress and we're due to see some more advances, especially as we see with Method 2 coming in. So if you ask us what we think may have inspired Jin Ho Yang, the CEO of the South Korean firm Hankook Mirai Technology, to build something as massive as what you see on your screen right now, the answer is pretty straightforward. It's the movies and sci-fi games we've been playing for quite a long time. However, unlike these games, he did make sure there was one fundamental difference. This is the purpose. The Method 2 was developed out of $200 million of the CEO's own money. So he's pretty serious about this machine, it seems. The robot is said to be of extreme help in the case of disasters, be it man-made or natural. However, even though we did tell you it'll be for commercial purposes, the CEO is certain that as time progresses, we may also have to put some technologies into use cases for military purposes. This sounds like the nuclear warheads were not enough for this world to have something of this scale that could potentially be developed for a mass alienation. Anyways, keeping trust in our leaders across the globe, which is quite hard for us even to say, let alone find a way ahead, and tell you more about this project. As a matter of fact, speaking of trust and leaders, we just had some good examples to give you. Did you know that South Korea already uses weaponized robots to patrol the DMZ? So, when asked about the application for a similar use case, the CEO went on with more than an affirmation and stated that it's better to use such robots because these will be a very good way of retrieving more efficiency and versatility in the project while ensuring safety to the ones who must not be the target of the machine. It looks like robots have already crossed mankind when it comes to disasters. Though these are the creations of human beings as well, the chances of them replacing us as time passes are too high to be ignored. Take for example the case of Chernobyl. It's a fact that there is a deadly amount of radioactive material which is still toxic to human beings exposed around the area. This means that making use of a robot in such a situation will help eradicate the loss of life that could potentially be a threat. Moreover, with the robots requiring much less effort to get something done and only having the requirement of good technology and battery power, the chances are that the task will be completed much faster compared to human beings. Anyway, let's not steer off from the topic and snap you back to Method 2. Now, literally speaking, the developers of this machine seem to have depicted from the very name that this robot could be the second method to anything human beings are either in threat or incapable of executing. And as the name suggests, this is certainly the case, as it is able to enact the exact movements that the person who sits inside it wants the robot. It can walk on its own, have its own balance, and ensure that the person inside it is safe and sound. With the capabilities to mimic your body movements and precise fingers, it will make sure you get all the tasks done with the least effort. To ensure additional safety, the developers have, for now, suspended two cables from the top to the ceiling to prevent the robots from falling over. From what we understand, this will not be the case in the long run as they develop further technologies and refine their balancing features. 
The developers, as a matter of fact, are not done with the series and are also working on a Method 3. So if that's something you would be interested in, worry no more. We'll provide you with all the updates to that as well. So as far as the AI in these robots is concerned, he says that it will be limited to human beings controlling it for a long time. The idea of them being able to make decisions on their own may not be something that we can see in the near future, so hold on until that. To make things even more interesting, a person could not only operate it from inside, but it has something like the shadow feature, as in the movie Atom. Sounds amazing already, doesn't it? Wait, there's more to it. The robot has already been able to bring in some prospective clients for the company, and the first one that came into the CEO's mind was Korea. The Korea's military has shown a lot of interest in the product, which showed them that there is a good demand for such a machine. However, on a major twist, the highest number of inquiries came from the entertainment companies. This exoskeleton robot, therefore, has not only had a lot of use cases, but also has been able to show them in real life as these companies start learning about its capabilities. So, irrespective of anything else, we can be sure that technology has a long way to go in the future. Remember we made a reference to the nuclear warheads? Well, on the bright side of that argument, we think that such a technology could definitely do away with nuclear waste. Not only that, in the case of Chernobyl, for example, and the areas which human beings cannot access without proper equipment, this robot could be of great help. Its enormous body will make it possible to have the kind of strength required to move and make necessary modifications. On the other hand, as time passes and more and more technologies are added to it, we could see some major adaptions to the ways in which it could get rid of all harmful effects of nuclear waste for us. We've heard that Jeff Bezos has a lot of fans. Is that correct? Let's find out. Did you know that the founder of Amazon, Jeff Bezos, has in March 2017 piloted this massive machine? This is an absolute treat for the fans, so here we are with some footage of that. How about we take it to space? We're certain that a machine with such capabilities will have some definite use cases out there. It won't be long before we see the billionaire, Tesla, and SpaceX founder Elon Musk showing interest in this. The hands are connected to a system capable of replicating all movements that the person sitting in the robot's torso makes. This capability is one of the main features that the developers are proud to share. So, as you saw already, the robot has some serious engineering going on in it. And we're sure that you, in case you use it in future, will be satisfied with the results it's being able to produce. Now, why we say that it's based on two different reasons? Number one is the person behind it, the CEO Jin Ho Yang, and the second is the progress he has made with this robot within three years. That's all for the day. Make sure you leave us a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to this channel, and leave your comments down below. We'll meet you in the next one.